Welcome to SRB TV. We are here. Hello everyone, welcome to our episode of SRB TV. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're dealing with Titan Season 3, Episode 4. Or was it 5? Five? 5? Yeah, 5. 5. Yes. Lazarus. Yeah, so previously on Titans, we saw some grieving for Hank. Um, Connor Ray, um, still feeling guilty, Dawn's still feeling guilty, guilty enough to be leaving for a while, um, Gar and Corey figuring out um, that Bla where Blackfire is, mm -hmm. um, and then on the dick side of things he figures out that uh, Crane's the one who helped him set up this whole master plan against the Titans. Yeah, it's it's it now we're on. Uh, uh, oh, is it uh, seeing uh, from this this from the sound of it? I mean, depends on where they go with this episode. It sounds like from the title of this episode, we're going into maybe we're finally finding out you know what Jason's you know overall supplier is or what his true plan is or everything that probably went down because um, just because of the title of this episode, we don't I, again. I still don't. I still don't believe. Oh, we don't. At least for me myself. I don't believe Crane is the full-on mastermind. I guess yeah, I think he's just a part of this scheme or this the whole this whole plan. He's just a one piece, a puzzle, a piece of the puzzle of it. Um, so maybe there's more to it. Um, like I said, you guys ever heard our thoughts before? Or are there going to be any sort of connections to the League of Shadows? Um, you know, uh, any mention of Roz or anything like that, just because of the name of this episode, or it's just, is that just the name of the drug he's using? I, I don't know. We have, I guess we have to find out, right? Mm -hmm. So let's just dive into this for Titans Season 3, Episode 5. So here we go. The plan is simple. We immerse the good citizens of Gotham in a world of fear and terror where there is no one to protect them. And when they feel that all hope has been exhausted, we swoop in. Maybe the answer to their fear. Wait! Like isn't that what, um, what's his name from Incredibles was doing? Yeah. Um, uh, Syndrome? Why is. Please don't do this. I'm fine. If Leslie agrees with you, you can go back to being Robin. But until I hear the word from her, you're shut down. Okay, the name yeah. sounds familiar. Leslie Tompkins. That's the. Doctor, remember you know in the in the, the show um, Gotham, pretty much the Gotham show. Leslie Tompkins, someone like Gordon, pretty much. Ah. Yeah, Leslie Tompkins. Joined up with the Joker last year. How do you know that? I told you. You're still me. Hmm. Right. That's one of those things that sounds real cool, but doesn't actually mean anything. Let's go introduce ourselves. Jay. Just a conversation. That's all. Come on. Oh, great. He's gonna punch a dude to death. Can't wait to watch this in action. I know, right? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it, please! Look, you're hurt. We need to get you to the hospital, okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Just tell me what I can do to help. Get the fuck away from me, okay? When you're alive. You're not wrong. Honest, that's how this process starts. I told you my choose. What's yours? Uh, races? Catwoman's goggles? Yeah. And the fear talks. Yeah. Oh. The Ducati's gassed up. 
If this new girl likes cats, run. Run. <laughs> this new girl likes cats, run. Does Molly know that you're Robin? Fuck no. Molly likes Jason. Because Jason's a real person. Robin, on the other hand, is a construct made by a crime-fighting vigilante who has a borderline personality disorder. Robin is the living embodiment of that man. Yeah, Herbert's not mine. What are you afraid of not being? A ghost. You want to be Robin again, that's great. If not, great also. Work for you? Yeah. Okay. Seems like he was like on that right path or yeah, something. Sure. Yeah, we're, we're, you're waiting for the like hard the, the, right. Yeah, the, this the, the hard yourself. right where something yeah, changes. Help me. Please, just hear what I'm saying. This is not your fault. Please, just hear what I'm saying. That's why Bruce feels responsible, because it's, it's like... No way to fuck with you. I never will. But I've made my choice. Jesus Christ. That's why Bruce... Of course it's yeah, Bruce's... But you know, you know, felt the responsibility, you know, on him for what happened at the time. That's why, because even he was just like... You see why, and this, is, this is the reason. Because he pretty much was wanting to uh, step away from it. Everything about everything. All details. Salient to ephemeral. A granular look at his operations. God Things that damn only Bruce. Bruce. Fucking shit. Yeah. That's why Bruce felt Everyone. like shit. I want out of this place. So the the way he's been using is anti fear toxin. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a way to eliminate that fear, make yeah. you feel make you feel fearless. More more like more confident, over confident. So his method of trying to drown out what happened to him a couple last last season is to literally create anti-fear toxin. Yeah, that's what it is. Instead of doing what all smart people should do is just go see a therapist. Mm -hmm. And then they've shown their his lives are just yeah. located somewhere in Gotham. Okay, so it is a lavender. So you still, they still skin. What's good is that they're still keeping to that, which is, is the last version. Not green anymore. I got to admit, it's pretty dope. Not green anymore, like it normally is, but. Oh, it's that guy here. Trying it, finding it hard to believe. He's the mastermind. Stand tall, Edward. Show them what they are. Because you have to understand, too, on top of this might be a work put from the Lazarus pit. When you come back, it takes a part of you. Time to kill me! Just tell me what you want! I want you to tell all your friends about me. Okay. Okay. Who are you? <laughs> I'll just tell them myself. Look, I know this is fucking weird, so I won't be here long. I just wanted to tell you that everything's gonna be alright. The city owes us a lot, and I'm gonna collect the bill. Jason. I don't know what you're doing, but you need help. She you still trying to save me? So that was Titan Season 3, Episode 5. And I can see why, um, on myself, uh, on stuff, why people have really liked this episode. Because for the first time in the entire series, Jason Todd is not acting like a complete douche nozzle. Mm -hmm. We yeah. actually get to see yeah. the, the, his mind. Yeah, we finally we finally get to see where his mind was at and where why his mind was 
the way it was pretty because much. Because of what happened during season two to him. Yeah, that, it was all just, it was still haunting him. It was still scaring the crap out of him. And just when you think he's like on a roll, you're like, you know, you're waiting for that hard right turn. And that's like, um, which I like because they had to show a re they had to give a reason why Bruce felt 100% responsible for, how, you know, at the time, why he died and stuff like that. You know, he felt fully responsible. And that, that was why, because he was pushing him away from Rob. And he was like, you know, he, he was like the moment he decided to push him away, that's when, that's when pretty much Jason just literally went off the handles. Because he thought, oh, you know, you're, you're talking to Leslie, you know, you're talking to Leslie, you know, it's like, fuck you, da 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 da. It's like, it's like the moment he told him that, because like the moment he started getting closer with, even with Bruce and stuff like that, where even the, that connection, that's when Bruce just made that, that hard, 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 immediate right turn, and that's when just everything started going downhill from there. So, yeah, so apparently it's an anti-fear toxin. It's, that's what it is. It, his way of coping was was working, and then Bruce pulled that No More Robin shit. And that's and when it, it was like, yeah, because he was legitimately, like he said, he's like, you know, I'm, I'm doing some good work with the doctor. I'm doing some really good work. You know, so it's like instead of letting just to see where it goes, it's like okay, no, I'm pulling it from Robin for good, you know, and stuff like that, and just that's where it's like he just. Went I'm downhill. still trying to figure out why he had to kill Hank. Like, okay, I get their plan. I get their plan. They want to pretty much pull a syn uh, syndrome, pretty much. Kind of. Kind of pull a syndrome, basically, but in doing so. It just see the problem I'm having with all this is that the mastermind is Jonathan Crane, That's and it. it's nothing against Jonathan Crane. I know in the comics he is a very smart scientist. Well, he's a smart scientist, but you have to understand some of the villains that we go here, go Batman even goes up against. Some of them, it's like yeah, some of them they don't seem like they're geniuses, like the, but they are actually. Geniuses. The biggest, like the biggest time we ever saw him pull off a grand plan was in uh, the Arkham Knight game. Yeah, of course. But to be fair, and to be kind of ironic. But also, if you watch the animated series, he's had some uh, some iconic moments, pretty much, where it's like he's, you know, how far he would have taken a plan. So, as I'm saying, for Jonathan Crane to actually to be the mastermind, it's like it took me a while to finally, you know, accept, like, you know what, yeah, you know, it's like, it's like a lot, it's like you give him enough time, he's going to come up with some type of plan. Of you know of doing what he's doing. I don't know. It just feels off to me still. I you know. It's a like Bane syndrome. That's what it is for some people. I don't know if it's the whole like he's the taking kind of a stoner too. I'm just. I don't know. I just. That's the only part I'm not feeling right now is that Jonathan Crane's a mastermind. Like I know his version of anti fear toxin is probably warping his. Warping Jason's mind to up team figure. Well, aside, well, well, aside from the last. That, that's what I'm trying to get to. Let me finish. Um is that uh like you said you don't believe it i do because it's like if you read enough about these all these villains and you've seen enough of these villains in the batman universe pretty much it's like you give them enough time give them that that leeway time they're gonna come up with some type of mastermind type of plan and it's gonna you know be mind you know uh mind blowing pretty much i know for you the problem is that you see this guy he's a stoner dude all of a sudden all this well, type no, of stuff. No, no 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 i want to clarify that i that aspect is just a nitpick that he's a stoner dude, whatever. My biggest issue is just that it's Jonathan Crane and I've never, except for like one video game, I've never seen him as a big villain. And that's what I'm liking about how Titans is handling him pretty much because is, is, is pretty much they're making him a big villain where it's like compared to all the other major villains that you're used to, it's like they're grabbing a, a, you know, a villain that really a lot of people don't attach itself to, but it's like, when you really do it, it's like they do a freaking amazing job. You know what I mean? Besides the Arkham game, you also have, you know, the Christopher Nolan films when they use uh, Jonathan Crane in that aspect. And look how phenomenal they even did it with his character, how far it went. You know, uh, how far Jonathan went. Yeah, it wasn't his plan per se, but like, he's like, what he was doing with it. Um, but anyways... I think the only part, like I said, the only part I still don't get is why kill Hank. I think, in a way, it's, trying, it's it's not like that. It's trying to send a message to the Titans. I think that's what it is. It's sending them a message stating how how serious he is about how far he's going. That's what it is. He, you know, it's like 
they don't, you know, because again, they're like sitting here, you know, in, in the earlier episodes, they were sitting there figuring out, you know, it's like he's got to be working with somebody, you know, da 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 da. It's like, it's, it, you know, because it, it's like you throw one of them off, you're going to throw the whole team off. So I see what he's trying to do. He's trying to show them that he's not joking. He's literally serious. It's like, I am, you know, doing this, you know, even if it means I have to kill one of you. You know, I think that's why pretty much he did what he did with Hank. You know, it was to send a message uh, to the Titans. It makes sense. Yeah, okay, I guess we'll see. Um, but like I said, I think this is still a really good episode. Yeah, and it was I like, nice to finally get more of Jason Todd. Yeah, and I really like that. I, I do really like that. Um, I do like the fact that they do they do bring up how it's like, you know, it's like how Jonathan knew, uh, how Crane knew that there was like, you know, or uh, like one of the remaining uh, Lazarus bits still have been discovered in Gotham that he knew about, and that's where he took him. So on top of not only you know the fear and stuff like that, but on top of his mind being warped with this toxin, but also again we all know what the Lazarus Pit does to your mind. So on top of all of that, his mind is really like literally all over the place, and that only toxin is like kind of like only thing kind of keeping him straight edge right now. You know where he's just like trying to you know stay focused, stay 100 percent. Because like I said, when Hank got the call. I still think there's a part of Jason in there, but I think you know, in his mind, he's using it to his advantage to take you know the the lore hawk out pretty much. That's how it comes. Like you saw, like Jason, like freaking out, like what's going on, what's happening, you know. So I still think his mind is still fully warped, so, completely. But like I said, overall great episode. I'm sorry, I want to talk about a lot about this episode. There's a whole bunch I want to talk about, but uh -huh. but like but because you you, you want to stop. Um, but, no, I, 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 but, I, but 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 um. But I do like how they kind of, like I said, I like how they, they set it up psychologically pretty much uh, with them, with his mind and where everything was going, how he was just, it, it all started pretty much with, you know, just that simple boy pretty much, you know, where it's like, you know, with just, with, with dealing all with that. So, I, I like I said, it's, I, I like I said, it's just a really, and so far the season so far has been really good so far and I've, I'm enjoying each episode and this episode was really Really strong, so I really can't wait for uh, the next episode. But yeah, yeah, a, a strong, another good strong episode from Titans. So other than that, folks, if you're new to the channel, you hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more, anybody else, when it comes to talking about DC original series, hit the subscribe button down below. Hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys' thoughts are on this episode overall. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, you know, did you like how they kind of take it? You like how they still involved the Lazarus Pit in this episode overall? How they implemented it, trying to make sure it's like that still stays part of the story. Um, now, at this point in this episode, like I said, because I know you guys are probably already way ahead of us at this point because of all these episodes being released. Uh, but you know, you know, do you think that also Lazarus Pit, Lazarus Pit, pretty much has also on top of that kind of corrupted his mind at, at this point pretty much after seeing this episode I mean let us know in the comments down below uh, put down what you thought of our reaction overall to this episode but most importantly we thank you for watching and of course on the next episode of SRB TV dealing with Titans we'll be tackling Titan season 3 episode 6 the halfway point of this season Lady uh, Lady Vic so, until next time, folks, I'm Chris. I'm Christopher. And this has been a very Robin-filled episode of SRB TV. See you later. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as one of our other SRB shows, check out one of the playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and start us at Super React Bros. As well as on Facebook at Super Reaction Bros.